Okay, no one asked for this video, but we're doing it anyway. This is the Fine Fine AM. But today, we're not using it as a tabletop streamer microphone. Instead, we're using it as a handheld vlogging microphone, and I feel like a reporter. So you're hearing the Fine Fine AM8 connected to my DJI mic via an XLR cable with a female end and a 3.5 millimeter end on the other side. You're not hearing the audio being transmitted wirelessly, but this is audio straight from the DJI mic. This little guy over here is powering this microphone. And for how small this DJI mic is, what do you think? How does this sound? I also wanted to take this as an opportunity to answer a question that a lot of budding voice actors asked me. And this also applies to anyone buying their first audio equipment. Wonder if you guys can hear the cicadas and the refrigerator. New audio lovers love to ask the question, how much should I invest in my first microphone? And the usual answer to that is, it depends. There are a lot of factors to consider, like your voice, your budget, your room acoustics. So it's true, there really are so many factors. But now in this day and age, in 2023, I can confidently say that a reasonable amount to invest is about $50. We are spoiled nowadays. My first proper microphone was an Audio-Technica AT2020 USB microphone, and that set me back $250. Nowadays, you can get something like the Rode NT1 5th generation for that price, and it is just a technologically superior microphone. For 50 bucks, you got access to all these cool brands like Myono, Fine Fine. Heck, even the streamer microphones are getting better. We've reached a point in audio technology where you almost can't get wrong with any mic for 50 bucks. I would dare say that a $50 USB microphone nowadays is roughly 60 to 70% of the professional audio that you actually need. Ugh, yeah, I'm wearing shorts. And yes, there's been this long-standing debate of should you use USB versus an audio interface. USB microphones do have audio interfaces inside of them. Except, you know, the space is smaller, so they can't really cramp a massive preamp inside of this, unlike in a dedicated audio interface. But the technology has just gotten so good. It's kind of like how these little guys are beginning to replace these bad boys over here. A smartphone and a camera both have sensors. Professional camera sensors, though, are exponentially larger. But there's a lot of extra tech in smartphones that compensates for that. In the same way, the Mayono DM30 sounds pretty good on its own. But the moment you turn the software on, you can get a guy like me who has a scrawny voice to sound like he has a deep trailer voice. Yeah, no, this doesn't have software. So all I'm saying is, don't be afraid to pick your first mic. Just grab one and go. Make content. Record those voiceovers. Start that podcast. Make a new YouTube channel with all those song covers. Your first $50 microphone will be good enough to sustain you in your chosen field for the next two to three years. Or if you make your money back sooner, like in the world of voiceover, a smart thing to do would be to grab a $50 mic, get two to three projects, sometimes even one project is enough, and buy a better microphone and an audio interface. Or maybe you don't want to upgrade, because sometimes the best microphone is the microphone that you already have. But if you want to learn even more about microphones, check out this other video.